Hey, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from SethMarkwood.com. Together, along with you, the three of us, we're Markwood Ben's Breakfast Club. Welcome back once again to Tobacco Advent 2020, Day 10. Whoop. And uh, today we're smoking a mystery, well, it's not a mystery yeah. blend. It's a blend right. from a mystery supporter. Yeah. So, um, this came directly to us in the mail from Pipes and Cigars, and we didn't buy it. And it's one ounce of Lane Dark Red Pipe Tobacco. Great. So Lane Dark Red, if you don't know, we, we've had this, we've enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. It's uh, Lane BCA, yeah, so Black great. Cavendish, with just a touch of cherry. To me, I don't really care for cherry tobaccos. This one I like. So just, whoever just sent enough. this to us, please uh, fess up and we'll put some information about you in the doobly-doo. Um, and while he's loading up, we owe you a cornament and an ornament as we send to all the folks that support us with the tobacco for tobacco advent thank you very much guaranteed to get to you before 2022 christmas 2021 that's right so do we have a question mm-hmm okay i'm lighting my pipe all right go, uh, go maybe maybe once put that in <laughs> maybe your pipe multiple times put, time. put that in your pipe Why and not? smoke it that was the plan Anyway, very thoughtful. Thank you, whoever sent this to us. You know what happened last year? We had somebody who did the same thing, and actually, it's pretty clever. They don't have to dig through their own tobacco or, or portion it out. They can go on to a couple websites and buy an ounce, mm -hmm. one ounce, and just ship it directly to us. Um, <laughs> but then uh, a couple months later, I got a message saying, hey, um, I just placed an order with uh, Pipes and Cigars, and uh, I forgot that I had sent you that sample for Tobacco mm. Advent, so that tobacco is coming your way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I like I like this one. This is good. All right, uh, today's question is another um, another user submitted question, and. And we're going to go ahead and combine three questions today. I think I just what? decided. Well, how many more? How many more do we have? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna combine a couple questions. Okay. Um, Remy asks, "What was the first blend you ever smoked, and do you still smoke it today?" Followed by very closely, uh, Marty said, "What is it about non-aromatic pipe tobacco tobaccos you don't enjoy?" Okay. Well, I, I know for sure the first tobacco I ever smoked was something that was a drugstore blend. So it was either um, Captain Black or it was on next. I'm sure it was Captain Black. Now that I think about it. And I, I smoked my way through what was available at the time and discovered Captain Black Royal, which became my favorite. And then at some point, I smoked Lane 1Q and realized I liked it more and have since learned that they're kind of sort of the same tobacco. Somebody from Lane, please, please correct us if we're wrong. But uh, it's, it's so, so similar. Um, from what I understand, the, the stuff that they sell over the counter has got some things in it to keep it humid, mm. uh, PEG or something. And uh, so it's not the same as what they have at a brick and mortar or you can buy online. Right. But I'm sure that it was... Uh, but if you let it sit open for... <laughs> yeah. So if I'm, if I'm traveling and I realize I didn't bring any tobacco with me and there's not a real live tobacconist, then I'll wind up getting some... Uh, Captain Black Royal. That's the blue label, Captain Black. And then, will you answer the question, then we'll come back to the second. I'm sure it was Lane One Q. <laughs> I, I have no, no doubt in my mind. Um, I remember the first uh, cigars that I smoked were garbage from a um, beach. On the beach with your cousin, right? Beach. It was a, a um, uh, you know, a cigar, uh, basically a cigarette shop next to a food lion um, grocery store at the beach, um, and it was some 
something uh, uh that was part of it also had something real didn't like the real cigars like the mm. swisher sweets and and had some swisher sweets and also had some of the the other um small cigarillos that basically have candy a candy coating on the paper um they, that tasted nice um and so i enjoyed those more and then so the, when you pipe. say when you say you, you know uh, you had a real cigar did you buy like a couple dollar stick out of a, out of a humidifier or was it one of the machine rolled real cigars like um el producto or no it was it was probably it was probably a stick um i i don't remember i i remember i remember it may have been it may have been one of the gas station um like a, a two for kind of crappy uh sticks but i do remember having that and um some swisher sweets and enjoying those more at the time now that quickly quickly changed um but then after that and it was after that that i had a pipe for the first time and it would have been with you and it would have been lane one q I'm, I'm sure that was certain i used to smoke years ago I, I went through a period in the early 80s before cigars hit their boom uh, i was smoking cigars and they, they were pretty inexpensive still and they were way out of fashion and um, you could get even at a gas station you could get some pretty decent hand rolled cigars but they were they were partially machine rolled mm. and then they had a hand rolled wrapper and um, I think of some of the brand names, um, Romeo and Julieta, mm -hmm. and uh, Baccarat, and a couple others. And they weren't bad. But my favorite of that style of pipe, I used to, or type of tobacco <laughs> cigar, was there was a, a brand called Mr. T's. And they came in a, in, a, in a tube, but it was a black, I'm sorry, a white plastic tube. And they had pipe tobacco flavors. Mm. And so you could get them in the vanilla, and you could get them with um, a cappuccino or coffee flavor, and those were really good. Mm. And because I was had been a pipe smoker, I kept gravitating back towards these blends that had mm. pipe tobacco in them. Um, but I, I, I was smoking, my, my favorite one of all was uh, Hugo Cassar, and this was a hand-rolled Dominican cigar that had the double wrapper, so it looked like a candy cane. Okay, yeah. And that was an amazing smoke. And then the Cigar Boom came on, and they were one of the companies that got overwhelmed, mm. started shipping cigars before they were ready to be shipped, mm. and kind of hurt their reputation a little bit, and they, they went away. Um, I'm sure they probably cleared them out at JR's, and we missed that. Right, right. <laughs> So, um, so then to the other question yeah. is, is what is it about um, what is it about non-aromatic pipe tobacco that you don't enjoy? I don't know. I don't like them. I don't know. I like a flavored cigar or a flavor, flavored pipe tobacco. Um, I don't want one that's heavily cased, that's goopy. Right. Um, although people say that Lane One Q is that, um, but I, I kind of dry the Lane One Q out quite a bit. Um, I don't know. I don't. I just don't. I don't care for a strong medicine-y tobacco. In a lot mm. of the English blends, you know, they, they just they're just they, they smell like cough medicine. Mm -hmm. Which is weird because I like a good cigar. I like a full-bodied cigar, but those tobaccos I don't care for. Mm. For me, the aromatics, um, this, this may not uh, sound normal to anybody, but um, there's something about the, almost just the, the fullness of, I don't know, wouldn't even say flavor, but like the smoke. Um, with an aromatic, it seems to be lighter. With an English, it, it just feels uh, weightier, I guess, in, in my mouth. Um, and, uh, and it has... I like I like uh, an English um, because it has more uh, just a, a, a more a, a wider flavor profile um, for me with what very limited um, amount of, of flavor 
but I do pick up the, the more, the more natural tobacco yeah. for sure. I mean, for me, yeah, my for a long time, for a long time, my preference was smoking cigars, and and still I enjoy smoking a cigar, but almost never do, um, almost almost never do, um, and so for me, an English is closer to what I enjoyed about cigars, um, and when I when I do smoke a cigar, I, I smoke a full body. Usually, um, I'm, I might get dizzy from it, kind of. So kinda I've, I've heard this, and I believe it to be true, that cigar smokers, if they smoke a pipe, prefer an aromatic. Mm -hmm. And that's true of me. Mm. I like a full-bodied cigar, but a full-bodied cigar does not necessarily have to be a harsh tobacco. It does, does have to have that full smoke. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cigars that you light up, and they're they're more like a cigarette, and they're real light smoke. Mm -hmm. I don't care for those at all. Yeah. And then there, there was one more question. While we've got um, Marty uh, pulled up, he asked, "Do you open gifts on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve?" And we've answered this, I think, just about every single year. Um, usually in our household, no. we'll do. I don't remember um, answering this question. Yeah. Um, well, that's Alzheimer's uh, early onset dementia. Um, you know, in, in both of our households, uh, traditionally, we well, my household was his household for a long time, so there's a reason for that. I usually will do like one gift on Christmas Eve, um, and then the majority of them on Christmas Day. Um, the tradition we have with my wife's family is we go to to my mother-in-law's house and do basically Christmas with her family um, on Christmas Eve, and uh, and that's and, with the gifts that you share among yourselves there, mm -hmm. right? And then for just our family, just just us and the kids, we'll do something at our house, and then usually we'll we'll wind up over at uh, at mom and dad's and and do stuff with my sister and her family and and um, our, our side of the family. So somebody commented they just realized that we're father and son, mm -hmm. and I don't I don't know how that isn't obvious because you do look so much like my dad. Yeah, yeah. What's the glasses? Um, yeah, I think I think uh, the facial hair is throwing people off this year. It's interesting. I'm, I'm thinking about getting some. Yeah, <laughs> well, I've seen you try. Good luck. <laughs> um, True. Mystery tobacco provider. Thank you for the tobacco. I really enjoyed it. Mine's gone. Um, you know, not packing a pipe and letting it burn too quickly. And again, I think it's the the smoke thing. I like a lot of smoke in my mouth, so. It burns real fast for me, generally. I like it too. I continue to like it. I've liked it before, and I'm going to like the rest of that. So we're, I'm going to make up for all the tobacco you shoved in your pocket <laughs> early, earlier in the week. I did. I did. Uh, yeah. Well, that's that's fine. You, uh, as much as I like that, I will take the Frogmorton cellar to the bank. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for participating. There is still time if you uh, would like to send in tobacco. Um, Doing it this way is fine. Just please let us know who you are uh, if you do it that way um, or something that you have on hand. Um, as a reminder, everyone that does that will receive a cornament and a ornament. 3D printed ornament. Yeah. All right. Hey, make a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya.